welcome back everyone and it's time to go balls deep and yes i have returned yes! With my return, I've decided that I should talk about My Hero Academia on a weekly basis. I mean, how can I know when the opening song for season 4 be bumping even to LeBron James? <laughs> As I've said before, I'm up to date with the manga and I would like to cover a various amount of topics. So please let me know in the comment section below what you would like me to talk about so that I can produce these videos for you. Now, before we begin this video, it will contain minor spoilers. No way, don't do me like that. You guys always be doing me dirty. Give me a chance to explain. I'm going to explain Deku's 100% full cow and why he does not have a muscle form like All Might since he achieved it in the episode and some of you are probably asking that question. Furthermore, if you would like me to do these weekly My Hero Academia episode analysis for you guys, give this video to at least 5,000 likes and I'll try my best to do so. So before we begin the episode analysis with Deku facing overhaul, before this event, Mirio and Night Eye failed their vibe checks against Overhaul where Mirio, he actually lost his quirk. <laughs> Night Eye in the episode has a huge impaled wound that could be fatal and he has seen the future where Deku will die against Overhaul if he tries to defeat him. Little does he know that he does not have the most powerful quirk balls deep prediction because my guy completely failed. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. The episode begins with the Dragon Lady and gang trying to get to Night Eye to save his life. However, they suddenly lose their life force due to the enemy's quirk being enhanced by drugs Overhaul was creating. Now, this dude looks like he has taken all the steroids in the world that would basically make his pee pee the size of a grape. However, this doesn't stop him from hitting on one of our waifus saying, Let me fill you up, cutie pie. I mean, how dare he? Where is the FBI when you need him? Wait, what? So you guys pull up whenever I do something, but this dude with the small pee pee gets to say what he wants? This is f***ing shit. It's pissing me off. This is injustice. F*** you two. The girls gang up and defeat him by going plus ultra by combining their powers. He's defeated quite easily, but Torga disguised as Deku shows up, giving them instructions on what they should do next since the League of Villains have a plan of their own to gain revenge on what Overhaul did to them earlier in the arc. Shigaraki wants to maintain dominance and cannot allow another villain like Overhaul get too powerful and destroy his plans that one for all bestowed upon him. For example, if Overhaul does become too powerful and wins this fight, then Shigaraki would have to follow by his rules and authority. Now we all know both these psychopaths wouldn't want to do that. So it's like 3D chess where everyone is trying to outmaneuver everyone and that's why Toga helped them out. You guys will come to understand what I mean in the upcoming episodes with what Shigaraki ends up doing. Yeah, boy. Okay, so besides the thickness, the animation of this episode was clearly the best we have ever seen so far in this season. So let's talk about Deku vs Overhaul now. Midoriya reaches out to Eri where she finally realizes that these dudes will never give up on her until they actually die themselves. She literally takes a leap of faith and the symbolism is pretty strong metaphorically. I mean, the cape of Mirio being wrapped around Eri says it all with what Horikoshi, the creator of My Hero Academia, is trying to portray to the audience on what it means to be a hero. It's the ability to save someone from despair and believe in hope once again. This is what it means to have a leap of faith. I mean the music going hand in hand with the scene was beautiful and can only make fans feel emotional like this. Mm, damn! That shit good! Bruh. After Eri puts her faith in Deku, the episode showcase Overhaul is a sociopath as he explains his ideology that is screwed for only himself. The boss that raised Shisaki said that they should follow a code of conduct and have some humanity. Kai stopped believing in this and he would use his own quirk to overhaul Eri's body and experiment with her DNA. This would allow his organization to create a new weapon which infuses her blood into bullets that erase quirks. 
Kai believes he could completely change society by removing the hero syndrome and restore the power of the Yakuza with this method as they would have a monopoly on the supply. This is because the plan would change the culture of Japan's society where guns would be back to prominence as a legitimate threat to people as society will not have quirks anymore. He also plans the Yakuza to sell a cure after the plan gets in motion to have money and power. This would allow the Yakuza to control an entire new market for quirks and Kai could reinstate the Yakuza as the biggest superpower in Japan. He would achieve his goal of getting rid of quirks and returning the world to the way it was before the quirks changed everything. However, this is meaningless because he treats Eri as a tool and not as a human being. I mean, just look how far this guy goes in just wanting to win the fight. He's absorbing his own subordinates for his own gain without consideration of any morality. I mean, one look at this dude's new form and I can only think one thing. Now you're all probably wondering, wow, Deku just used 100% all for one full cow. Is he just as powerful as All Might that means? I mean, where the heck is his muscular form? I want to see Deku be thick like your boy Asta. Well, Deku's all for one doesn't work like All Might's, that much is clear. I don't want to spoil too much from the manga, but let me explain why Deku's all for one isn't as strong as All Might's yet, and why he won't get a muscular transformation per se. Basically, the muscular form is something that All might had to develop due to his injury he could not use this quirk as much as he used to and had to time his quirk within the day on the hours that he had left when Deku becomes an adult obviously his physical body will adjust to be in the state at all times due to the muscle mass he will develop from training the quirk muscle form is not supposed to be a quirk for an old and broken all might that's simply the visual cue that the animation does to show to us that he has activated one for all the electricity aspect that Deku portrays for his power is also shown with All Might. It's part of the All for One quirk. When Deku asked All Might about his muscle form, he responded by saying, you know how people holding their gut at the pool? It's kind of like that. All Might's muscle form is his original body. As seen in My Hero Academia the two heroes movie, before fighting All for One, he looked like an ordinary person that he was himself. He states himself when explaining to Deku that I've wasted away because of the after effects of those surgeries. After fighting all for one, he became weaker and lost his form. In order to maintain the strength required to be all might, he reactivates his muscles and returns his muscle form. Deku at the moment has not reached a peak of all might and does not possess that gigantic figure. Deku is only a small boy and 15 years old whilst all might had the body of a jock and this is different genetic. Deku is not like all might in his use of quirk 2. He uses full cowling 100% which is basically spreading one for all evenly throughout his entire body. Anywho, at the moment, Deku's 100% full cowl is nowhere near All Might's prime. He's still learning how to perform this on his own without anyone's help. And I'm pretty sure if we have a time skip, Deku's muscular form will be shown, but it won't be like All Might's since they have different genetics. The All for One quirk evolves with each person it is passed down to, as it gets stronger and stronger due to the holding capacity of power of the people that used it beforehand, and then it passes it on, kind of like that avatar state that we see in the last airbender. Therefore, Deku of course can become stronger than All Might in the future, but just not yet. I thought this episode was beautiful animation, the meaning and music was great. So let's skip to my live reaction. Oh my god, I love this guy's voice acting, man. Like, honestly, he's been taking some good steroids, man. <laughs> Yo! Let's do this! Come on, guys! Mess him up! Plus Ultra! <laughs> Holy shit! Animation! This is good. Oh my god, this is intense. Fam, 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 fam. Eri has one of the most depressing stories in My Hero Academia. Oh my god, man. Oh my god. Holy shit. Look how much this guy was experimenting. You guys don't understand the amount of pain she went through. Oh my god, Deku. Oh my god, this is so sick. Oh my god, she jumped. Oh, the music! 
Oh shit! Oh, this animation is freaking good! This is like a movie fab! Oh, I love Deku, man. Sometimes I see myself in Deku so much, like... That never give up attitude really does work in real life, man, I'm telling you guys. Yes! Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so epic, holy shit! She's gonna... I hate that I know, I, I hate that I've read the manga because it's like, I'm in awe right now, this is so sick. Trust me, Deku! You're gonna be the number- Oh my god! Holy shit, look how strong Deku is, man. He's obliterated the whole arena, this is insane. Oh my lord. Naughty god, you know you belong to me. Oh, somebody's to pull up the FBI on this guy. Oh my god, look at that smile. That precious smile. He's still smiling <laughs> at a time like this to make the girls feel reassured. Oh my god. You are one ugly motherfucker! Wow, the voice acting fam. Whoa, fam! Look at that animation! Oh shit. Bro! <laughs> oh my god! I. Yo! Deku's got shrug, fam! It's so crazy to see this anime. Yo! Oh shit! No! I... He dead! Oh my lord! Holy shit! Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh my... Nah! Yo! Nah, mate. Your future prediction is shit. You don't have balls deep prediction magic, Adam, bitch. Deku is gonna define his future, man. Shut your mouth, son. Anyway, guys. You know, that was absolutely great. <laughs> There's nothing else to say. My Hero Academia is pretty good. I'm going to start doing weekly videos on this. If you have any topics that you want me to cover on My Hero Academia or explain, let me know on Twitter or Instagram or in the comments. Thanks for joining me. As always, check out Balls Deep and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>